Hi and uh, welcome to Paul's Model Train Stop. Um, this is a video in English uh, once more. Uh, the reason for this is um, I've got um Hi and welcome to Paul's Model Train Stop. Today's video is in English. Um, it's been a while. The reason for this is uh, I've been uh, getting lots of views on my uh, Lima engine cleanup. And uh, I've recently turned this Lima engine motor into, uh, I, I replaced the motor with a CD drive engine. And I wanted to share um, how this process goes. So these, these little motors, you can get them from old CD players, from old computer CD players, and they are the motors that drive the tray out of the CD uh, drive. Um, most of the other stuff that's in there is rather useless. Maybe you get some gears, some sprockets that may be of some use, but um, you can basically just toss that away. This is the only thing that really matters. And you usually can get those uh, old broken CD players uh, or DVD drives or whatever drives for free because um, if they don't work, it's either the, uh, the, the laser or the laser moving mechanism, the electronics or the rubber bands, but it's rarely that this motor is broken and that's the only thing you're after. So, this is a uh, still almost working uh, Lima uh, motor unit. Um, now the process of getting this, getting this done uh, I'm not going to repeat it as a whole because it's uh, it, it takes quite some effort to do. But uh, I am going to show you roughly the outline of it. First off, you get some of the tools. You're definitely going to need this. Um, you take your uh, CD uh, drive motor and you take off the little... Uh, um, thing on the drive shaft. Now you have your uh, CD engine motor prepared for the Lima. Um, yeah, it's uh, always easy to take off the bottom plate. And uh, you take off the shield. Oh, come on. Usually you find inside a rather black rotor. That was the case with this one. It was uh, just all black and sooth and the, uh, and the, the brushes, uh, they were actually uh, not flat. They were at, worn down at an angle, so something in there went really wrong. You take the shield off and well this is surprisingly okay. You can take this power pickup out as well. And you take the rotor. Now what you need to do is you need to cut these copper wires here and uh, you can then use your uh, thongs here to pull out the whole iron part and the sprocket and um, so this is kind of what it looks like if it's complete you pull this out you're left with um, the plastic oh yeah the plastic uh, sprocket here and the plastic is also covering this uh, this whole rotor and it's going underneath the copper wiring now uh, I took the effort to uh, unwind all the copper wiring. Uh, let me get that. Uh, and you can also just rip it off if you'd like. I think I may have some use for this, so I, I really just unwound it. Um, you're then left with the, uh, the rotor part, which is magnetized to make it move, and with uh, the pin and the pickup disc and with a plastic uh, in the same shape as this 
And what I did was I cut off these. Here we go. There's two of them. They sit on here like oh, the other side, like that. Uh, I just uh, cut them off and stripped down until I had only the sprocket left. Now, the diameter of this, this pin is much uh, bigger than the one on the CD motor. So for that you need to have some, let's see where it is. I used some, um, oh, here we go, uh, some heat shrink. It fits uh, on here nicely and it's just the extra thickness you need. You can just shrink it down a bit with uh, some heat. Just the extra, extra thickness you need to make the uh, sprocket uh, sit on tightly. For this part you need to take out the magnet. I've seen some people really break a thing out, but you can just slit your uh, screwdriver underneath here and you can just pick it out. And then you can place the motor with the new sprocket in here. Um, I also glued in some extra pieces of plastic down here um, to uh, make sure the size fits because this uh, pin on that motor is slightly longer than that one you have to see for yourself what works once you got that in place uh, I took the motor shield and I cut down here down here on the other side it's clear to see cut here here and there and remove that part where the brushes were in leaving me with uh, the uh, three sides to hold the CD motor in place now. I cannot fully close it, uh, it's a bit thicker but that's okay, I just screwed it tight so it won't move. Put on some leads and uh, you have a little motor, a new one. I can, it's not connected to anything, but I do have a, a little uh, breadboard here with some power on. And connect my wires here and it's very sensitive I would not recommend this running on an analog track I am gonna put a digital decoder on this but it moves rather nicely now and uh, yeah I'm, I'm very happy with this uh, of course uh, all in all this explanation is uh, well five ten minutes it took me an hour to to do this, to do all the cutting, to do all the uh, unwinding, uh, and uh, to get everything uh, in this uh, form uh, ready. And then do all the uh, uh, oiling up, all the gears uh, that's still not done. Uh, but if you do, uh, and if you connect this to uh, a digital uh, DCC uh, decoder. I've seen some good results and I'm hoping to achieve the same. You should have a very decent running, less noisy uh, Lima um, pancake shaped motor uh, at your disposal. So there you go. That's uh, in short how you uh, transform an old uh, Lima uh, into something that's uh, less noisy. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, share and uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Although most of the content is in Dutch these days, I occasionally still do uh, English videos. Um, especially if I see a certain subject having a high rate of uh, English viewers. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.